coral reefs are among the most important marine ecosystems. Despite the fact that they represent only a tenth of a percent of the ocean floor, they hold 25% of marine life, including about 5,000 fish species. Coral reefs have undergone tremendous change over time, and the major components of modern coral reefs, the scleractinian corals, which produce hard substrates uh, which form the foundation of the reef, these have not always existed. In fact, these corals first appeared in the early Mesozoic era during the age of dinosaurs. Half the history of coral reefs during the Paleozoic era passed before a single member of the modern group of scleractinian corals had evolved. Sponges were the first animals in the ocean and were the first animals to compose uh, reefs and they were the major components of the early Cambrian reefs. There were different groups of sponges, and a major group were the Archaeocyathan sponges, which were predominant members of early Cambrian reefs, but which became completely extinct by the Middle Cambrian. The extinction of this group of Archaeocyathan sponges must have had a profound effect on marine ecosystems, given that they were a major component of early Cambrian reefs. The earliest corals had evolved by the Ordovician period, and groups of corals known as tabulate corals and rugose corals became the predominant reef-building organisms through the majority of the Paleozoic era. The Paleozoic era ended with the worst mass extinction in Earth's history, when about 90% of all Earth's life disappeared, including the tabulate and rugose corals, which were the major reef builders of the Paleozoic era. Once again, their loss would have had profound effects on marine ecosystems, which were devastated during this mass extinction. As coral reefs rebounded in the Mesozoic era, sponges were very important during the Mesozoic as components of reefs. Sponges today are not the major component of reefs, but still have very important roles. As filter feeders, they take in phytoplankton, zooplankton, and debris from ocean water, and then process these materials and make nutrients available for other organisms, including corals and the algae which are endosymbionts inside the corals. Some sponges also have endosymbiotic algae inside them performing photosynthesis, just as do some corals. By the end of the Mesozoic era, there was even a group of giant clams which were important in reef building known as the rudest clams. Giant clams today are important for reefs and they are a source of not only nutrients for corals but also are a source of the algae which will be the endosymbionts inside corals given that many of these same algae are endosymbionts inside giant clams.